all right boys it is time for some shenanigans as we are going to be using the halloween slater now this guy has been very annoying having so many cards to disable um anything but attack skills and then he also has his disable card kind of what uh what's the channel blue channeler has you can disable effects and we are going to be using this man to hard counter arthur now the reason why i say he can hard counter arthur and that's because arthur can only cleanse two debuffs now for some reason it's only two debuffs which gives you so many opportunities to seal his cards or even disable him and i have even had moments where i even attack sealed arthur just because again only be only being able to remove two debuffs is very very troublesome again especially if you face against a lot of debuff teams that are featuring like trends and a bomb who are applying a lot of debuffs you're going to end up being out of luck when they have a, another debuffing character that can disable effects so we're going to be using this team featuring chaos arthur um bond and roxy again we're going to just show you guys us going second the entire time or trying to go second the entire time that slater could actually counter arthur so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um make sure you got like and subscribe again and let me know did you pull arthur and how many gems did it take to pull him all right so what we got here Ooh, an arthur team now the thing why i say that pretty much that slater can counter arthur is that we got to remember arthur can only cleanse about two debuffs a turn so when you have slater who can apply about like freaking what was it, like six or eight debuffs at once and then you also have bomb applying debuffs it makes it very easy to counter arthur with slater because again he's not cleansing as many debuffs as possible so this is me even going second versus the arthur team and you can witness he's going for his full on stacks right now um as you can see he got all full stacks so we go for ours where we're just going to be merging cards together um then we're going to debuff him with slater and then we can go for this as well because he is going to try to use his cards you see we apply so many debuffs and now we're going to disable as well so he can infect but he's mostly going to get most of his damage from that max damage dealt boost um but that's fine because again we're applying so many debuffs on this guy he can't really do much anyways so again it's gonna be our turn to pretty much uh get through him feel like he's not really trying to use arctic cards okay and there goes the hit doesn't really do much damage again all we're going to do right here is just disable his arthur again or it looks like we can also attack as well so we're going to disable him so we're going to take away his uh abilities right now and then we can go for ultimate because again we're stopping him from infecting as well too because this guy can only get rid of two debuffs at a time and he's locked onto arthur because my taunt and the chaos domination so that means Eskinor and bond is gonna have to attack arthur the entire time so good luck my good luck my guy now arthur only has his chaos domination um that increased max damage dealt and stuff based on like that hp which ain't gonna mean nothing because again we uh we stopped him from being able to infect. But he can't AoE. Only thing he can do is just single target. And as you can see, he pretty much was he pretty much did nothing. So this is gonna be the time where we just oh. And that's why I said like Slater can counter hard counter Arthur because he can only remove two debuffs. Just risk so many things in PvP. Like it's so easy to counter that. Um there have been times where I have to where I have like a tax sealed Arthur because of that. But GG, my boy. GG. Let's see what he had in the back. Oh my god, East it? Is he okay? Easton is crazy. That is crazy. Alright, so at the time we got a Liz team. Now I like the Liz team. Um just because it does. Oh my god, this guy using ultimate oh, rush. Is they using old food or what? So you must be old food. And if you want to get rid of your uh, DN, 
Now, I like this team because it has a lot of defensive capabilities being with Liz. The only unfortunate thing is that Liz is, um, you need a high dupe Liz. If you don't have a high dupe Liz, you're probably going to lose. So we stop his DN from being able to uh, stand sub. So what we can end up doing is just blasting this team left and right. Depending on who gets to revive right now. I think it's going to be Deanne. I think Deanne technically has like the lowest HP. Depending on if you have like uh, cosmetics and stuff like that. Yeah, she's the lowest HP. So let's go for you. And then we go for his Liz. Again, his DN is kind of locked from her stance. So she can't really do much. And look, he did have a little bit of dupes too on his Liz too. Like probably like four out of six. But it's still not enough. Because Arthur just hits so hard. So GG, my boy. Because he can't do anything. DN is literally locked. Yep. Like I said, locked. Yo, I just got done reading that dev note from, um, on JP. Like, JP got the dev note first, and that stuff was, like, a whole lot of yapping. Pretty much, they were just discussing, um, the upcoming Demonic Beast. Talking about how they are considering, and on, what is it, like, improving on older content in terms of, like, rewards. Like, they, they thinking about it, which, honestly, they always say that in, like, every patch notes where they say, like, yeah, we're thinking about updating the uh, older events in terms of rewards. And you just sitting there like, bro, y'all said this for like four years that y'all planning on doing this and that. But for some reason, y'all still haven't. <laughs> but you know how many times they say like, yeah, we're planning to do this. We're planning. We have ideas. Just to like never do it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they just want it. Maybe they just get like a little bit of pushback from probably um probably from people who like sells the game and stuff like that. The people who like think to themselves like, yo, we have to make money on this game. So we can't improve any older content. Alright. Who cares that the freaking Fort Soul Dungeons have been haven't been updated in like three years. While we just keep pushing out UR characters, LR characters needing 50 your pendants, 50 SSR pendants, uh, 200 SA coins. Who cares about any of those things, okay? Uh, <laughs> like, this stuff be just so funny to me. But again, this team is like pretty fire. And they also said, like, with the, the, the freaking new Demonic Beast, the, the squirrel, they did say that this will be an activity where. It, It'll be um, a little bit different, um, and, and we'll pretty much, pretty much require a new. Cause they, actually, no, you know what they said? They said that um, it'll allow you to utilize old, under. I think it was underwhelming they use underwhelming skills and stuff like that, and all that just read to me. It'd be, it'd be like, yo, are they gonna turn this freaking the scroll of the beast into like, um, <laughs> the Demi King raid? Or you got to use like the most trash cards to pretty much um, get through it. Like, this stuff goes to say, yeah, you got to use like recovery skills. Yeah, you got to use stance skills. Just to make it pretty difficult and annoying. Now again, they also said that they will also be hosting an event where pretty much the first, I think it was like the first server to have a person um, defeat the demonic beast. You no know, get rewards and stuff like that. And they have like they always have like that competition. I think they had it for um I think for Nidhogg. Is it Nidhogg or Dog? Where they just gave out gems afterwards and just like celebrated the the server who server and person who defeated the demonic beast first. Cause um I think Nidhogg took like a like literally a couple weeks to beat. Just because there was no reset. Like if you don't know. Usually when the Demonic Beast comes out, it never has a reset. So what I mean by reset is that sometimes you can reset your turn if somehow maybe you might overkill or you don't kill. Pretty much allowing you to um, reset that turn and start over to try a different combination. And sometimes it could help because 
there be some moments where okay if i use this combination together then this time i can probably crit or something and that's how it usually goes and that's why i said like sometimes the demonic beast could be a little bit uh difficult a little bit hard just because of the first that first couple of weeks they don't allow you to reset your turns so you're kind of just you're kind of just out of luck at that point but it, it like again it all depends though um we'll have to see how hard the demonic beast is again usually what happens is what why no one really be excited for demonic beast anymore because it's just a money glitch for Nemarble. And why I say it's like a money glitch because what's going to end up happening is they're going to the demonic beast is going to be obviously super hard. All right, be feeling like it's almost impossible to beat. Probably give some holy relic that makes it so desirable that you you think to yourself, "Oh my god, I have to defeat this demonic beast so I can get this holy relic for I don't know Trader Meliodas so it can be actually useful." And then once that happens. Guess what ends up happening? You start struggling for months or weeks and stuff like that. Then boom, the devs pop up with um, a character who literally is made for the demonic beast, who can make it slightly easier. And then after that, it becomes slightly easier. They bring out like multiple characters back to back to back that will make it literally farmable when you close your eyes on the demonic beast. That's why no one really be excited for the bomb beast because it's always the same situation where okay it's gonna be super hard for a couple of months for a month or two and they're gonna come out with a character they're gonna make it broke that's gonna be broken that makes it super easy and um yeah that's gonna be pretty much it and that's why i say it's like gonna be infinite that's why i say it's like an infinite money glitch because again you're gonna want that character to do that demonic beast because they, again, they're gonna make a desirable holy relic for a character that you really wanted to have a holy relic for a very long time, and you're just gonna end up having to summon for a probably what a 600 banner because usually these characters are like 600 banner characters. I think actually was Thonar. I think Thonar was maybe a, s a step up, wasn't she? Like Red Thonar was a step up, or is that? Or think about Ragnarok Vaughn. It was like one character there was a step up, but again, let's just say 600 in general. It's gonna be a 600 character made for demonic beast you're gonna have to summon for it and you're probably gonna be trying your best i kid you not every time a new demonic beast come out and then a character made for a demonic beast comes out i kid you not every youtuber says yo summon for this character right now or you're gonna suffer for eternity and i kid you not it's like the it's like the free to players just hear that and it just goes out one ear okay because what ends up happening after that is that they end up skipping that character and then they talk then they be in your comments like yo how can i do this without this character uh, i skipped for some reason when you've been sitting there like for freaking four weeks in a row yo before this character leave please summon for this character before this character leaves please summon and they just in your comments how do i beat it without using this character and you just be like yo you out of luck man you gotta wait wait those couple months until um the character they come out with a broken character make it easier i mean that's how it be i mean we have to see if probably um what's it the, the, the red lr elizabeth she's made for like all the demonic beasts i'm actually curious to see if maybe she'll make it slightly easier i doubt they'll make it easier with lr elizabeth like it might they might do some shenanigans where they might freaking counter goddesses they might do that goddesses this is because goddesses seem so stacked in terms of characters and based that boosting that they will have to counter that right because you have lr elizabeth you can just pair this alongside of my l you have the new lr margaret um and then some people will be using like red tarmiel link as well not red tarmiel link uh red tarmiel or e elate like they have to do something where they got to make it so it's almost impossible to farm But again, I am pretty excited for it. Um, I'm very curious what they will release as the new Ragnarok character because I think the Ragnarok is releasing next month, like in April, I believe. So that means we were most likely going to be getting a uh, 
Ragnarok character. I don't think it's gonna be a Ragnarok festival, but it's gonna be a Ragnarok character. Um, because the next festival is gonna be the JP anniversary. So there's gonna be a Ragnarok character, which is kind of weird because Hell hasn't reran yet. So it might be that. What does it usually take? What six months now? So what is it like? I think Hell came in like September. So what was it like? Um, October, November, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Okay, so she's most likely going to rerun on the uh, JP anniversary because I think it's going to be the end of. I think it's going to be the end of the uh, Holy War festivals. I think Arthur. I think Arthur is literally the last Holy War festival. So what they're gonna end up doing is a newer festival, and probably the it might be what I believe is gonna probably be like a Four Nights of Apocalypse, Apocalypse character like Percival, and then they're gonna probably tease the Four Nights of Apocalypse of story that's going and then they're gonna say yo coming in 2025, and that's where we all just 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 die after that. That's what I believe is gonna happen. And then we and I'm pretty sure after um. After the part two banner that comes from the Chaos Arthur banner, it's gonna most likely be a uh, it's gonna be most likely be a collab. And what I think is gonna be the collab is gonna most likely be like what solo leveling, because I think um, the solo leveling is having the solo leveling game from Netmarble is having I think they release it on April or having a beta launch, open beta launch on April. So that would be pretty nice to kind of promote promote it along with the anime but again these are just my random thoughts okay this possibly could never happen um these are just speculations but i feel like that's what's gonna happen is they gonna probably do solo leveling which is gonna be another um netmarble technically another netmarble webtoon ip i feel like they're gonna end up doing a lot of webtoons this uh this year i mean webtoons aren't bad or anything like that especially if it's solo leveling it's just like not too many people care too much about webtoons more than so than like animes that you probably already know. All right, webtoons are still a little bit brand new in terms of like the broad audience. But again, this is just all speculations. Again, I could be totally wrong. I could be totally right. Who knows? It'd be kind of interesting to see what happens. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe again for more content using Arthur. Again, I just wanted to use Slater just to show you guys that it's very easy to counter Arthur because this because he only moves two debuffs, which is again kind of weird. But yeah, guys, this guy is gonna probably get clapped. Um, <laughs> he already been getting clapped, so GG.